Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Conventicle bringing you guys some more 2007 old school runescape. As you can see here in the gameplay, I'm doing some jad and I did manage to get my fire cape off of this run of fight cape. So that is really good. I just couldn't be bothered to go bossing and stuff without a fire cape because I'm not going to have as good stats and I don't have barrels gloves and when you don't have barrels gloves and you're also using something like a ceradome and a mage cape or whatever you want to call it to go bandos, that is pretty newbie so at least I have a fire cape now so I don't look as much of a noob with my addy gloves. But uh, yeah, I got my fire cape back and that's great. And another thing that is great is that I got 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel after only being on YouTube for about a month and a half I'd say and I've only uploaded 15 videos so I think that is a great accomplishment for myself. I worked really hard on each video. I'm not somebody who's just gonna post a Road to Max video where I talk about bullshit and then put like dubstep in the background or just don't even commentate and I just put dubstep over it like that is just so generic I never wanted to be like that so I mean I came on this scene so I could help people out and give them something to watch while they play this game so I'm glad I su could supply you guys with that need and also as you can see right here I was trying to uh, get these healers on me and stuff and I kept getting hit by them so I also got hit by Jad a 44 and a 55 which was pretty bad I should have realized because I had two healers on me and I could have just made them one a lot earlier but I eventually did that and if I didn't do that I probably wouldn't have got the fire cape here but the other day since I got my fire cape back I decided to go on a bandos trip right and at first, this other guy was supposed to be tanking, but he didn't have Guthans because he couldn't sell his Bandos God Sword in order to buy it. And it was his first time ever doing Bandos God Wars Dungeon since like 2008. So I decided I was going to tank. And then we all gear up and stuff, and we're ready to go. So we get there, and I'm killing Grador. And then I realize both my Guthans top and skirt went to zero and I was getting wrecked pretty bad and that was because I had been using it on Slayer so often and I just wasn't paying attention so then we had to re-gear and I had to spend like um, about 700k getting all my tanking gear and repairing my gut then so then we headed back right and we're all ready to go we're on our like seventh kill and we we're all like really dry we've been dry for many trips at this point and we really could use tacits by now so as you can see instead of getting tacits in the clip uh in the screenshot right here we got bandos boots which really made us sort of lose hope of getting a drop. We knew if we got something like Bandos Boots, there's a likely chance that we're not going to be getting anything else. So we still managed to keep our hopes up though, and we kept praying for those tacits because, you know, that's all you got, that's all you can do, really. So eventually, about four kills, I'd say later, we get a loop half of a key, and that just completely destroys our hope. But we still try to stay positive, you know, just keep going through, keep killing Grador again, and then on the next kill, we get another loop half of key. I'm pretty sure each of these loop halves of key are as rare as a god item, such as boots, tassis, ch or chest plate. But we really need those tassies, right? So, five kills later, guess what we get? <gasps> A loop half of key. No, we didn't get fucking tacits. We got another third loop half of a key. All of that, Bandos boots and three loop halves of key could have been four tacits. And that could have been 20 mil profit for each of us. But no, with my luck at God Wars Dungeon, that's not going to happen. So anyways, I'm done with that bullshit Bandos story. And let's get into the actual topic of this video. I've styled enough. You know, uh, thank you guys for 100 subs, and um, hopefully I will have somewhat of luck at Bandos in the future. So as you guys may know, unless you're living under a rock, there has been a new developer's blog about the wilderness update they plan on making. I don't see this update coming out anytime soon because it looks like a pretty massive update and they don't have too many developers at this point. But it is going to be an awesome update. I'm not going to cover the whole thing, just the PVM aspect of it because I'm a PVMer myself and a lot of people have already just done a overview of the entire thing and I just want to get a little bit more specific into the PVM aspect of it. 
And this is probably one of the best ideas for an update they've came out with so far because if you were to even go into World 2 Wilderness to go PvP, there is basically nobody there. And if you went into any other world, the only people you would see are people doing Clue Scrolls, The Abyss, or bots at Green Dragons, which is really bad. So I actually think it would be a good idea if they made that multi-combat zone because you would probably be able to get rid of a lot of the bots there and there are just like it is absurd if you go to the green dragon area northeast of the chaos temple then there are literally like 10 bots there in each world it is so bad so um into the pvm aspect of it they are deciding that they want to add three um demi bosses which are basically bosses that you can solo and three other bosses also they are planning on enhancing the drops of the chaos elemental and the king black dragon and the regular bosses not the demi bosses and also the king black dragon and chaos elemental will now also be able to drop a dragon pickaxe i was literally before I even heard about this update, I was thinking, you know what, it would be awesome if they added something like a dragon pickaxe into this game because mining is such a tedious skill and it's really boring and you really need something like a dragon pickaxe because of how slow it levels. So I was also thinking, what if they made it drop by the King Black Dragon because nobody goes King Black Dragon in 07, they're all at God Wars Dungeon or... Drag Dagonoth Kings and they literally pulled this idea out of my head This is the most perfect idea ever that they are adding dragon picks at pickaxe into the game and also Having new bosses and having the previous bosses be able to drop it So as you can see in the gameplay right there. I just got my fire cape, which is awesome But anyways getting back on track here. They're also going to be adding like I said Three demi bosses and each one of these is going to drop a third of a shield also, each one of these is weak to a certain attack, whether it be mage, range, or melee. And this is going to be awesome because I've never gone bossing and used mage. That would be pretty awesome to be able to do. Well, besides killing Rex, but I mean, you're using like melee gear for that and you're just using something like Slayer, Dart, or Claws of Guthix, but it would be awesome to be able to mage another boss. So all of these bosses are going to be dropping a third of a shield and once you get all the three parts of the shield you can go to this area in the very northeastern part of the wilderness and turn it into a shield that is basically either a range or mage variant of the obsidian shield. And this is great because I don't really think there's any good mage protection shield besides like the crystal shield and I've never even got one so I don't even know the statistics of it but it would be great if we could get a shield that helps against mage attacks. So you have the crazed archaeologist which is on the very west side and then a little bit north of that there's the chaos fanatic and then all the way above the chaos elemental and like 60 wilderness is the queen scorpion which is in the scorpion pit so those are all the three demi bosses that they are planning on making. Along with this, like I said, they're going to be adding three new bosses, which include the Roaming Bear, Skeletal Champion, and Spider Boss, and all three of these are going to be a little southeast of the Red Dragon area. And this is going to be a multi-combat zone, so you're going to be able to PVM these bosses with your friends and stuff, but I could see a lot of PvP clans just coming in here and trying to kill the PVMers, but this would actually be a pretty awesome idea because you have PVMers going against PvPers, and there's a boss there attacking both of them so I think they'll be pretty competitive and they're also going to be dropping uh, dragon pickaxes but I don't know if they're gonna drop too much besides that but anyways that's pretty much all I have to talk about for these bosses I'm looking forward to these new items being added into the game and these new bosses hopefully I'll be able to make guides on them once they are released so thank you guys for helping me get to 100 subscribers if you enjoyed the video then please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more and before I do leave you though for this special video, I thought I would add a little live commentary clip that I obtained luring some bots at Nightmare Zone. So enjoy that and I'll see you guys later in my next video if you're subscribed. Peace. 
All right, so basically what I'm doing now is I saw a Chris Archie video and I'm tr I went to Nightmare Zone and I'm trying to lure these stupid bots and get their shit. I have gone so far and I'm right next to these wolves, so hopefully it'll die. Please, wolves, attack this level 17 bot. Oh, it's been like a half hour at least. Can I get something? Oh yeah, attack me, but don't at don't attack the bot. All right, this should help. This should work right here. Attack, attack the level seventeen. No! Oh my god! All right, come on. Come over here, wolf. Yes, yes, attack him, attack him, yes, 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 what is it going to be, what am I going to get, oh my god, moment of truth, oh wait, they're going to save items on death, oh wait, no, holy shit, holy shit, I guess not, alright, that's like, alright loot, that's alright loot, 